Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film this look for you guys. I really, really wanted to do a springtime Easter makeup look for you guys. So this is what I came up with. I really, really wanted to try out my new uh, Stila Shimmer and Glow, I believe this one is called. Um, this is the color Cloud. It is the most beautiful lavender duochrome beautifulness that you will ever see oh my gosh i got this specifically for easter so i'm definitely definitely planning on wearing this for easter and this is just such a beautiful springtime color the camera is not even picking up exactly like how beautiful this eyeshadow is if you have not tried the new stila liquid eyeshadows you're missing out girl missing out these are absolutely my new obsession i got so many actually for my birthday <laughs> these are magic in a bottle they are i just i can't seem to get enough <sighs> i'm actually planning on filming a like what i got for my birthday haul kind of if i do film that video i will definitely link it down below so you guys can go check it out and while you're checking out that video, you might as well subscribe to my channel. Subscribing is absolutely free, just in case you were wondering. Anyways, if you guys are interested in learning how to get this look, then just keep on watching. So first, I'm using this Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer to prime my lids. And then I'm setting that down with this shadow called Desert Sand from my Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. For my crease shade, I'm going to use this shadow called Lure, which is from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. To blow out the look a little bit more and to buff away any harsh edges, I used the shade Nectar from my Lorac Pro 2 Palette. I wanted the look to be just a tad bit more purple, so I'm using Amethyst from the Desert Dust Palette and very carefully applying that into the crease. For my brow bone, I'm using this shade called Tempera from the Modern Renaissance palette. I know I'm using like a bunch of different palettes for this look, but you can use any cream shade that you have because we will be going back over this shade with a different shadow. And now for the star of the show, I'm using this Stila Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in Cloud. And I'm applying this all over the lid, but I'm making sure not to cross into the crease. Then I'm just taking a small brush and buffing out any harsh edges. For my inner corner and brow bone highlight, I will be using the NYX Prismatic Eyeshadow in Frostbite. Next, for my bottom lash line, I'm going back in with the shade Lure from the Prism palette. And then I'm going to go in with Amethyst from the Desert Dust palette and I'm going to concentrate this on the outer edge of the bottom lash line. Then I'm just filling in my eyebrows with this Winky Lux brow pencil. For my waterline, I'm using this CoverGirl Liquiline Blast liner. Uh, it does not have a name on it, but it is the lavender shade. Now I'm just going to create a small wing using this Ciate Fierce Flicks eyeliner. Then I'm just going to curl my lashes and then apply this Butter London Double Decker Lashes Mascara. Moving on to the face, I'm going to be using the Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer. And I wanted this look to be extra glowy, so before I apply my foundation, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Cushion Highlighter in Who's That Pearl? And I'm just applying this on all of the high points of my face. I'm just trying to finish up the rest of this little Sephora foundation sample, so I decided to use that. And also, I mixed in some of this Temptu and BoxyCharm Liquid Glow for extra glow. As usual, I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey for concealer. And then I'm setting down that concealer with a banana powder. To set down the rest of my face, I'm going to use this Physicians Formula Argan Wear Bronzer in Light Bronzer. 
Next, I'm just going to contour and highlight my face using this Highlight and Contour Palette by IBY Beauty. For blush, I am going to use this Pretty Vulgar Make Them Blush blush in number 18, Kush Blush. Oh my gosh, try saying that 10 times. Then I'm going to highlight my face using my favorite Ofra Cosmetics and dupe that highlighter in You Glow Girl. For the lips, I decided to first go with this Bite Beauty Lip Crayon in Glossé. I just went ahead and sprayed down my face with this Project Beauty Setting Spray just to let all of the makeup melt in together. You can definitely just stick with the first lip option if you want a more subtle look. But since this is a makeup tutorial, I wanted to go a little bit extra. So I am first going in with this Maybelline Vibrant Violet Matte Lipstick. Then in the center of the lips, I'm applying Lust for Blush, which is another Maybelline matte lipstick. And I'm creating kind of like an ombre effect. Now, to make my lips look extra full and juicy, I'm going to use this Urban Decay Lip Top Coat in Fever. And I'm concentrating this right in the center of the lips. Alright guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!